Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to be talking about dBeaver. So dBeaver is a universal database tool. It works with MySQL as well as a lot of other SQL-ish database tools. And uh, we're going to be going over how to get it working on Ubuntu. And uh, there are a lot of different ways to get this program working on Ubuntu. And I covered that in an article that I wrote, and you can check that out in the link in the description. But to, to start off, you need to go to dbeaver.io, click the download button on the home page, and if you scroll down, you can see the Linux area, and that's what we'll be focusing on. So there are a lot of different installation options for Ubuntu. There's the Deb package, which I cover in the article. There's also Snap and Flatpak. We're going to be covering the Snap version today because Snap is honestly the easiest way to install this program. You don't have to deal with Java. You don't have to deal with any kind of setup. It just kind of downloads from the Snap store and gets set up like uh, like normal. So to get started, I'm going to open up a terminal window here and uh, go to the download page like I showed you. Copy the command here and paste it into the terminal. You can enter your password. It's going to download everything that it needs to run. Shouldn't take more than a couple seconds depending on your net speed here. Now once it's done, you can look for dBeaver in the app menu here and uh, open it up. It shouldn't take more than a minute to launch. Uh, you know, normally these kind of programs, you know, sometimes take a long time, but uh, dBeaver in particular with my testing is pretty fast. So once it opens up, which it's opening up right now, this little startup window here. Once it's open, it's going to ask you if you want to create a sample database. Just, I'm just going to click yes so we can see what it looks like. And, uh, It'll have you download some driver files. So this is what it looks like. Now, I'm not a database person. I don't mess with these kind of things. But this is how you get this program working on Ubuntu Linux. So if you guys weren't sure how to do this before, you do know, no, you do know how to now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.